Hey, what's up you guys? Today I want to show you how I got this look. I really love this like colored eyeliner look. Excited to show you everything I used. Everything will be linked down below as usual and let's get started. For primer, I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime. This is such a good primer, makes the biggest difference. And my foundation. It just goes on a lot smoother. For foundation, I'm going to use the Giorgio Mani Luminous Silk Foundation. I love this foundation. I am going to meet a friend, so I like to save this one for when I'm going out. Just has that silky, smooth skin. I like to take this straight down, then moving it around, I feel like it goes on the best. on the jawline. So I'm going to take a beauty blender. I like to kind of just set the foundation. This really like pushes it into the skin. Just in certain areas. You don't have to do it everywhere. But if you have little blotchy spots of too much foundation, I'd recommend trying this tip. Bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Chanel Universal Bronzer. This is such a pretty one with my Sigma Angled Brush, Contour Brush. This is just one I always go back to. Just has such a natural, pretty glow. I like to just tap it in, angle up. It's just like really flattering on the skin. And it really stays on throughout the day because it's a cream product. But I like that it's not too creamy. It's just a really good one. Down on the jawline. A little on the neck. A little on the nose. Just love bronzer. Brows, I'm gonna use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is just an old time favorite. I like to brush them out first. Fill them in. I like to go on the top first, a little on the bottom. So yeah, I'm going to go meet my friend at a brewery by our old job, one of my old coworkers. So I'm super excited to see her and I wanted to do this look as well. So it was like perfect timing to just do a video and I can wear the look out, which is always nice because sometimes you can't. I have no plans. I'm like, I want to go out with this makeup on. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use a 24 hour brow setter from Benefit as well. This is, oh, let me push this out a little bit. The best clear brow gel. You only need a little bit. For blush, I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty this is the melting cream blush. I actually have been better at wearing blush with my Sephora 93 brush. I love that this is angled. Oh, so pretty. I like to bring it up. This just melts into your skin. It's like really natural, but you can keep building it up. It's really pretty. For eyeliner, I'm going to use the Kat Von D. 
uh, Mad Max Brown Tattoo Eyeliner. I love the pointy applicator on here. Oh, I just realized since I'm not doing eyeshadow, I can actually do concealer. We'll do this first. I like to hold the eye like this so it's more even. Okay, actually back to concealer. I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. A little, little blemish here to cover up. A little redness here. And just in the inner and outer corner. I'm gonna take my Sigma concealer brush and just dab that in. Like a little concealer goes a long way. You really just need a little bit. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just set that. Oh, I just noticed a little redness. For eyeliner, I'm going to use the iMethod Stamped Winged Eyeliner. This thing is so cool. You just stamp it on just way quicker. So I like to make sure get in the right area. That's good. I kind of push it in the eye a little bit. Um, I just feel like it looks better that way. But that looks good. There's also a pointy end on this side. I do have a coupon code. Um, it's Amy Marie for 15% off. And I will put the link below um, if you guys are interested in this product. Okay. Gonna go in with the left side. So there's a left and a right one. Try to get it the same as the other one. Oh yeah, that looks good. Love how quick and easy this is. Highly recommend. And if there's any area you need to fill in, there's a pointy end on the other side. Now I'm gonna use my ColourPop. This is a colored eyeliner. I checked, this isn't in my LTK links, but um, I found something similar from Walmart actually. I'll link it below, it's actually really affordable. But here is the colored eyeliner. I thought this was just fun. I did it the other day and I really like the way it turned out. So I'm just gonna layer this on top of the eyeliner. I'm gonna use my little Amazon fan to try it. This thing comes in handy. I'm gonna do the other side, just layer it right on top. I did just order more colors of these. They're just really fun. I ordered a purple, a maroon, a teal, and 
and most of them are pretty affordable, so. Really pretty. I love this like dark teal color. It just kind of adds enough color, but not so like crazy bright. Use the fan again. Now I'm gonna put on my Ardell Wispy Lashes. I'm going to use a Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. Such a pretty color. These lip liners are so good. Then I'm going to use my Chanel. This is a lipstick 206 Illusion, a good nude. I was going to do a color, but I feel like with the eyes, not a good nude is good with this look. A little bit of clear gloss. Okay, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. I'm going to take my powder puff here. I've been doing this trick, so dab it here and put it on. These things are so good. It gets so much more product than a brush. Definitely for going out, I feel like it makes me less oily when I just use a little bit of setting powder. And it just blurs everything. I love setting powder. <laughs> okay, I want to use setting spray because I am going out. It's still hot here, so I want my makeup to stay on. I'm going to use a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. This stuff is so good. It's really light on the skin but really holds your makeup in. Oh, so good. I love that all nighter one from Urban Decay for so many years, but I feel like this one is like just a step up. It's a little bit better. Still like that one, but okay. So yeah, that does it for this kind of simple, but really love the way this turned out with the colored eyeliner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, everything will be linked in the description box below if you're interested in any of these products. And if you're new here, I hope you subscribe and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.